Hey good fellas, it's great to see you guys. Today I'm gonna do a reaction inception. I'm reacting on Mark Gebauer's video that is reacting on producer Michael's and Kevin O'Leary's pen collection. I've been very happy and proud to see that uh, famous YouTubers, business people, um, entrepreneurs actually took their time to do a video about their pen collection, like producer Michael, like Mer Mark Gebauer. And so I told I had to go also give my opinion and some information on uh, the stuff they showed. And so I would say, let's start. Hello everyone, this is Michael for you today with another video and we are going to take a look at part three of the video from producer Michael and Kevin O'Leary and I will also show you my pen collection. They are presenting theirs and I will show you mine. Before we now start, please make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel. This would make me very happy and now let's go right into the video. So this video is from last year. I saved the part three until my watch collection uh, got a little bit bigger. So now let's check out uh, this part three. Okay, I'm gonna show you something crazy. Yeah. I have seen oh. this piece before. This piece, yeah, Konstantin Chiking, this is one of the watches I'm still missing. The price is not so expensive, but I definitely want to have one of those. You're going after some really interesting dials. Konstantin Chiking. Okay, I'm gonna go further until they start talking about uh, pens. Now, musicians, now, everybody. Now Kevin O'Leary is picking out his um, beautiful Mont Blanc Urban Spirit uh, leather pen case and what I can see from there a few very very nice pieces. He wants their rainbow. You know, okay, okay. So okay. Where I wear on a black suit. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Are you a big pen collector? I am. I do you have the addiction as you do with watches? Not the same, but I buy what I do with watches. It's actually funny in this video, you'll see that Kevin O'Leary refers to pens uh, and he calls them watches just because, you know, uh, he was talking about watches, but that happens actually often. Is I buy very rare pieces. I mean, it happens often with a lot of, of people. And make them corporate gifts. For example, this is a JFK Mont Blanc. It's out Ooh. of production. There are so many small details on this kind of pen. This is now, I think, rollerball. I'm more into fountain pen. So the one he just showed, I don't know if he's gonna explain later, that's a JFK limited edition. They released that one when they just released um, this uh, beautiful new edition, what was part of the great characters edition. I think that was a ballpoint, not a, not a rollerball, but beautiful pen indeed. I like the that. Beatles, also a rare piece. They ah. got the Beatles license from Yoko Ono, and they did a very rare, this is a dial from a console. Super yeah. nice. That's so cool. Yeah. Nip Good piece. in size. Very yeah, nice. Fantastic. From the Beatles, I have one John Lennon. So this is uh, the box. Oh. Almost every year they are going to release one of those limited editions. You, you have here a huge box with the, with the booklet. And let me show you the pen. So uh, this is uh, the pen. Uh, on the details you will see that there is a guitar. Uh, so uh, the one that, that Kevin O'Leary was showing is the Beatles limited edition. That was part of the Great Characters collection also and about 2014 if I'm not wrong. And the John Lennon that Mark Gebauer is showing here, this is a limited edition John Lennon edition from about 2010 if I'm not wrong. And uh, it's also a beautiful one. Actually they did another one which was um, more of a special edition with like a black vinyl, vinyl um, uh, material, so even more classic at about 1,000. This pen here was at about 3,500 um, euro. On this side, and there's a small sapphire stone. For all my pens, I select different kind of ink. For example, on this one, I was thinking to myself, okay, which one would be fitting to this pen? And I choose purple. This would be uh, the ink. I have this one also as a rollable because this is uh, not a fountain pen. So I always try to match also the ink to the theme. I like that a lot from Mark. I mean, that he matches uh, the ink. So there's a lot of attention to him using pens and that's something I appreciate a lot. And I don't even do that. And I think it's really, really cool. I think that's uh, part of the pen game that makes, that makes, you know, pens so fun. You can select the ink and it's actually pretty cool. 
of the fountain pen or rollerball. The whole kind of feeling of this pen is just done perfectly and Mont Blanc. This is the brand you want to choose for your writing instrument. But there are also some other ones we will see today. This is also from the psychedelic beetle era, the ballpoint, mm. Sergeant Pepper's days. Mm -hmm. See, that would drive me crazy. Cause you, yeah. It's but hard let, to look if at. If you want to talk about a watch on television and or, you know tying to a pen, it's this one. I mean, you take something. So this is a beautiful, you saw the other Beatles edition. That was the um, special edition one, sold very, very well. I didn't know it would sell this well because it was so colorful. And back at the time, pens were even more just, you know, black. And we're talking just of a few years ago. So in the last five years, we had a radical change in uh, uh, the style that of pens and colors of pens that we can find on the market. With a red band. I mean, you're 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 getting married there, right? Yeah, yeah right. You are. It's nice. just abs anything. absolutely fantastic. Nice. Feel that, feel that pen. Then the very sexy Marilyn Monroe. It was designed Ooh. to look like wow. her high heel, her stiletto. Let me see that. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. You feel the Mont Blanc movement in that. Again, a collecting piece. Let's say a Vacheron. Mont Blanc make the finest pen. Uh, the last roll. So before we start seeing his ones. Um, the Marilyn Monroe is a beautiful edition of the Muses collection. They've done the Grace Kelly. Marilyn Monroe is like the latest edition. There's actually a very nice one coming, a new edition coming this year. Not Marilyn Monroe, but a new um, special feminine character. And actually, you know, some of those, like also the Grace Kelly that are not on the market anymore, they're actually pretty requests uh, at times. And that one was a beautiful, beautiful edition. I'm surprised that Kevin O'Leary has one because it's more of a feminine collection. So for example, in my store, we sell it a lot to, um, to feminine customers, but it doesn't need to be. I mean, you know, I think it can be very nice also in a man's hand. And uh, it's cool that, he, that he, he does that. Let's see what Mark has now. Well, I have is uh, this one. Yeah, the structure is also kind of unique. They have the knife from the movie Psycho and all kind of different related topics to his movies. Yeah. Uh, I know how Mark knows about his pants. That's amazing. Uh, beautiful, beautiful edition. Great characters line. Personally, one of my favorite edition ever released by Mont Blanc. I also love the clip. Um, and that now is the rollerball edition. So actually, just that you guys in the audience know, um, you. You can't really match the ink with rollerballs. Rollerballs have a refill. You can buy the refill. There's actually several colors that you can now buy uh, and put into a rollerball. And I have a fountain pen in my store of this edition here, and it's simply, simply stunning. And I love the rollerball. I would use. I love to use rollerballs, and so uh, I love how much Mark knows about this, about the pens. Yeah, Alfred Hitchcock. This is the box, and if you are going to open it, then you see that here inside is also this kind of movie box. And here I just took gray. Yeah, so he took cool gray as a, um, a refill in the, the, um, uh, in the Hitchcock. Very cool. As a color. Sponsored what obviously is by Mont Blanc. Okay, guys. This, I don't think um, this pen has been celebrated enough in this video. Um, I'm not saying Kevin Leary didn't do it well, but I'm just saying for the fountain pen community, guys, this is probably a holy, 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 holy grail. Uh, limited to 88 pieces. It's called Tribute to Kyoto. Um, it was an edition that was launched in uh, around November 2019. And what's amazing on this specific pen is that it's Japanese art featured on, on German craftsmanship, on ger German industrial cra craftsmanship. So this um, details you see that looks like uh, uh, a mosaic. This is like a mosaic of abalone shells. So of mother of pearl shells uh, that are very, very precisely um, set by hand in Japan by a master um, maquillé artist. And Maquillet is the big name. Into Maquillet, there is, you know, Urushi technique, there is a Raiden technique. Now, this one with the abalone shell or, or with egg sh shells is called a Raiden technique. And everything that is painted around is this beautiful Maquillet technique with gold, um, uh, with actually gold lacquer 
and there is also gold powder over it so there's also chinking uh, which is uh, carving in the pan which is not a technique that is used on this specific pen, but only 88 pieces and I think 28,000 euros, something like this. This is a typical piece, goes out on the market. If you get the chance to buy, this one is gonna go up in price like crazy because there are so few and just so beautiful. And there are so many customers that are into uh, Japanese pens. So when the biggest pen brand uh, creates such a masterpiece, then you know it's just gonna, people are just gonna go crazy about it. That's a diamond at the tip. Oh! A really rare nib, but it's this lacquer work on this. Nice. And this inlaid gold. This is a, a one of a kind. Again, one of a kind watch. <laughs> Happens even to me when I talk to people. And watch. It's about thirty-seven thousand dollars. Wow! Yeah. Look at how beautiful that is. Super, really nicely you know, made. And on the top of the cap. I don't I don't want to be mistaken, but I think it's a diamond top. So it's actually a diamond uh, a Mont Blanc logo. Lori wow, Grenier was so good. Yeah, it's beautiful. Lori Grenier was sitting beside me on Shark Tank. Compliments to Kevin O'Leary for having such a pen. This is a real connoisseur pen. Um, and it's just amazing. I mean, this is top, 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 top notch in the pen industry. Um, but you got to... Gorgeous. Make, yeah, when you carry these pens, you got to make sure you don't scratch them. And and you don't lose them. So in terms of pricing, the ones I showed to you is limited edition and I have number 42. This pen is made out of gold. This is not, I mean, they have a lot of gold in their collection, but the cap is made out of one single piece of stone, lapis lazuli. And you can imagine to have this kind of stone and need to curve this by hand, this takes a lot of effort. And for this special fountain pen, which is approximately, let's say, 18,000 euro or something like this. I always use the calligraphy gold, yellow gold um, ink. Okay, amazing how much Mark knows about it once again. He's the type of um, pen salesman you would like to, to meet when you go in a pen store, right? And there, there are not many out there that are as good. So it's fantastic. Um, beautiful pen, amazing. He said it all ingredients here which uh, harms the nib so you always need to clean but the look of the ink is this elixir ink is very cool because it also smells so it has a scent it's just incredible and this is my most expensive piece beautiful one and it has also one sapphire stone here at the so important that pen is um 20, uh, 18 karat solid gold not gold plated the serpent this is a design ah. from the you know very, very I early it in 1900s. The boutique. It's been redone. A serpent with stones, mm -hmm. the Mont Blanc. If you look at the Mont Blanc sales women around the world, this coral color, <laughs> this is their favorite pen. Really? This is also a re-edition. You see uh, the logo appears here. Right. That they wear in the stores. But so, that's my go-to pen all the time. I think this is some kind of re-edition. I have also one. I don't use it. Okay, so that was the Heritage Rouge et Noir Serpent. That's actually fun because that is a edition that was already created in 1914. So Mark says it right, there's the old Mont Blanc logo on it. <clears throat> Sorry. And um, actually it's going out of collection because the latest uh, collection they have released of the Heritage collection is called Egyptomania. And yeah, that one, the serpent was very, very successful. Um, Marco from Swiss Watch Gang has uh, a few. He has two, if I'm not wrong. Beautiful coral one, very nice color. So it has this beautiful coral color, uh, which is very niche, but sold very, very well. And unfortunately is out of is out of market now um so if you can get your hands on one of those just do i don't have any in my store left uh, beautiful beautiful edition uh, but i wanted to have it it's uh, this and i don't remember why they uh, did this kind of piece so the special thing so actually this has um, nothing to do with the rouge noir uh, but it's a beautiful one it's made for the 100 year of uh, mont blanc you see it has the same kind of vintage logo on the side of the cap um, i wasn't a fan of this one and this collection wasn't that successful actually um, but you know i think in a few years still if you're gonna have it it's made for the 100 year uh, anniversary of mont blanc so it's gonna be worth it anyway the thing is you need to press here and then it comes mm -hmm. out this is kind of also meant to be for your pocket. 
You can write down in the comments what kind of uh, limited edition this one is. Uh, it has also a different kind of packaging, but nice mechanism, you know. By the way, guys, sorry, Mark, I'm interrupting you. <laughs> but you can see Mark is very well dressed, uh, nice ring, nice bracelets, and did a nice watch, and a nice pen, a nice fountain pen. It's part of an outfit and it's part of your daily items and daily tools you gotta use in order to look sharp. If you're on your way and you just want to sign something. This is my entire collection of pens. You want to see what I yeah, have? Yeah, let's have a look. I'm not, I'm not a huge <laughs> pen collector, but I have. Right yes, that was before Michael started collecting Montegrappas, as you can see. So this Colorful is a Fabergé Michel oh. Peugeot pen. Wow. I don't know if you're familiar wow. with them. Yes, I am. And um, you clearly have not used this. I have not used it. I'm scared to. <laughs> yeah, I can tell by just the way I opened it up. <laughs> totally. Nice. Uh, they feel great, wow. don't they? They do. They're, they're very they're heavy. heavy. Also, yeah. extraordinary oh, piece. Very, very nice. They look very colorful. This is. Okay, so before we go on this one, which is the one I, uh, that I really love, uh, you can see on Michael's pens, uh, beautiful uh, lacquering artwork, Faberge. I, did, I didn't really knew that they had pens, so it's not something that is known to the pen industry. It also doesn't have any specific relevance to the pen industry at the moment. Uh, who knows if the market grows? Uh, but it did very, very nice ones. I mean, I would be impressed if someone pulls out one of those. So definitely expensive ones it's not like a gift or so now this one that mark is showing the recent acquisition of mine Moctezuma yeah it was a gift from uh, three very nice people from the music industry and let me show you the pen it looks like this what, what craftsmanship huh they have a, a stone here at the bottom and if you put it out it looks like this wow inspired by the Aztecs far as I remember. And so Moctezuma was a Nasdaq emperor, uh, one of the most incredible and stunning pieces. I'm actually not sure if Montblanc produced all of the 4810 because it was released during uh, the first lockdown of COVID. So there was a nightmare at the factory, um, but I sold several of the 888 edition, the one limited to 888 pieces. Uh, that one is limited to 4810, is part of the Pattern of Arts collection of Mont Blanc that gets released once per year. And again, amazing. It's like pulling out a knife. And this is really one incredible piece. I got also the nice. matching ink to this one. It was also a limited edition. It's called Pierced Sky. If I write something in the summer, this is just turquoise color, very friendly. And this I use more in the summer. And then my last one is, oops, oh. nearly didn't have a last one, <laughs> is this. Yeah, uh, which wow. I'm told you can't, you, is... You can't drop these watches because it's lacquer. Wow. And what's unique about this is you get a different look at every light. It changes, you know. It's sort wow. Of like, it's this is this also is nice Do you know this size. One? I don't, but I can tell from my Japanese lacquered pens that this is... It's got to be. What is it? I don't know. Let's have a look. <laughs> Let me put my glasses on and I will tell you it is a... Le Prime? This is... Okay, so um, Jean-Pierre Lepin, I don't think they know what this actually is. I know Jean-Pierre Lepin, I had the chance to meet him because my father also um, knows him. And uh, Jean-Pierre Lepin is a French pen maker that is based in uh, Gira Francais. He produces a lot for, uh, or he used to produce a lot for um, other brands. For example, when Romain Jérôme did the Titanic DNA uh, watch, Jean-Pierre Lepin actually did the pen that had this shape of um, a submariner, you know, um, and it was also made with parts of the Titanic DNA. So, yeah, not a fan, but indeed crazy piece, beautiful color. Actually, that's not lacquer. That's more of a precious resin in that sense. Definitely doesn't have anything to do with uh, Japanese uh, urushi or Japanese lacquering. Um, but I think it's a very nice uh, resin that definitely, definitely also reflects with, uh, with the light. And that's what makes it um, very, very nice. And it's a very um, rare pen to see out in the market. I haven't checked on eBay what's available, but definitely a, a very interesting one. Um, doesn't have any specific relevance on the market, but who knows in the next years, you know? Maybe after all of these videos about uh, producer Michaels and Kevin Leary's pen collection, it will have a relevance. 
This is a German pen Paris. made in Japan. Oh, really? Yeah. Super nice. This is one well, of my favorites in green. Super, super nice. I have also one I need to show it to you. This is from the company Meissen in white. They are famous for their porcelain. They have nice. the logo here in front and it's just a so clean pen and I often combine it for pictures. So like you see here, we have the 15202 together with this fountain pen. What an awesome combination. So beautiful because that Meissen edition, that was actually a uh, quite complicated one to produce because um, they had actually to work with Meissen to create a material that wouldn't break and fall in thousand pieces if you would let drop the pen. You know, pen can be dropped like every item and like every luxurious item you might have. So you got to be a bit careful with it. Uh, but interesting was if you would let fall that pen, then it would break within the pen. So you would still have your pen broken, so you need to send it in to repair if you wanted it to, to have it repaired, uh, but it wouldn't fall into 1000 pieces. And that was very complicated to do. And, you know, thumbs up to, to Mont Blanc for once again, uh, breaking, every breaking every rule. For this one, because of the logo, I use Egyptian blue, the same color like the logo here. And I thought this is a good match. Nice. I want to show you two more pens before we end this video. This one is uh, this is the fa famous tomato soup artwork from Andy Warhol. Very heavy and this one... I so true, very heavy cap, very heavy pen overall. But like the Moctezuma, when you uncap it, you have this very nice uh, and big uh, cap. And then the bottom part is actually very, very cool to use. You know, it's not too heavy, it's not too thick. Uh, actually, on the Andy Warhol, I have to say it was even a bit too light, but the cap was incredible. So overall, when you were holding the pen in your hands, um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful feeling. Uh, I had that one obviously in my store, sold very, very well. Also sold the uh, limited edition one, the, um, what was it, maybe 1000 and something pieces. I'm not sure, it was for about 8000, 9000 US dollar. Beautiful, beautiful edition. I always use with green. One more fountain pen, not from Mont Blanc, no. from a different company. Lavris is the name. It was a gift from a very special man from the Netherlands. Best regards to him. And it is made out of silver and this head is uh, real gold. Limited edition from Italy is the brand. And this one I use with the color permanent black. It's the fountain pen. Okay, Mark. I'm gonna reveal what that pen is because I know it, I know it very well. I know the owner of the brand very, very well. And it's the Stipula Academia. Stipula is a brand from Florence. Um, they, they produced uh, some crazy, crazy pieces. Uh, very, very high know-how. And um, that one was a specific collection where they would release some incredibly carved sterling silver or solid gold pieces that were on for about uh, 8,000, 10,000 uh, US dollar and uh, indeed, indeed, beautiful, beautiful one. I use almost the most, uh, if I want to sign anything, the craftsmanship, this is a real piece of art. This so interesting to know maybe about Stipula is they used to be very well distributed everywhere in the US and so on. Right now they have a bit of a low, uh, but all of these pen brands, as soon as you're gonna see that the market is growing, are gonna go back into, um, into the market. Uh, so, you know, I think this type of videos are very important to build awareness and relevance for the pen industry. Think about it. It's not, um, you know, it's not crazy that Mark and Michael are collecting and having beautiful pens. Mark has there uh, quite a collection worth several ten thousands um, of uh, of euro. So you know he's investing into it. Was the last pen I have, of course, like you see here, I have a lot more. But you know, I will keep them as a secret. Maybe next time when we are going to take a look at one video from producer Michael. I will show you the other ones as well. I just bought a very important one called Peacemaker. Yeah, signed. I will totally tell you the, the story a different time. That's awesome. sort of my world of, you know, fashion watches, cufflinks, you name it. And I have Super so nice. enjoyed hanging out with you. Me too. <laughs> Me too. This has been wonderful. And it, Show it's that we're a, COVID savvy. Right. You know, yeah. <laughs> Although we both don't have it. But yeah, I know, but, but, there's but there's a, we're tested and we're, we're, we're cool with but, it. But still keeping up the protocol, the yeah. elbow bump. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, thank you again. Don't forget to put these away. Guys, I hope you enjoyed these three 
video is three, right? Did we do three? Yeah, this is number three. Three. It's just amazing. We, we, we had so many pieces out here. I know. Really amazing video, yeah. If you want to check out Producer Michael, please read the description. I linked there everything. And maybe one day, you know, I can uh, travel to LA and uh, we will do one video together. So I enjoyed this one really much. And then I see you guys next time. Very, very nice, guys. Uh, I hope I can get uh, Mark Gebauer and uh, even Michael to come over to Zug uh, someday soon as soon all the situation is over and show them also some very very nice pieces I have in my store since they're getting interested into pens Mark uh, is already also very knowledgeable about them knows what he has and that's very very cool and important um, so I would you know like to personally thank them for for doing this um, video this reaction video also and I look really forward on, on seeing more and more of them um, and I would say guys stay tuned because this week is a very important week there's gonna be a very nice release for this industry we're gonna do a live presentation here on my youtube channel make sure to subscribe to this channel guys and to um, follow and share this uh, reaction video where you know we explain what kind of pens that have been shown in those videos and also I'm gonna leave the links of Mark Gebauer's channel and producer Michael's channel down below here I know my channel is not uh, like theirs yet but it's going that way. See you soon, good fellas.